Hello subscribers and watchers from SlideNerd, this is Vivs here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the fragment backstack and its behavior. So let's begin our discussion. First, let's talk about the default behavior of what happens. By default, fragments have no awareness of back button. Now, Android has a concept where whenever you navigate from one activity to another activity, the previous activity is not completely destroyed. It is simply added to a stack from where you can access it again when you press the back button. Now what do I mean by this? Let me actually show you a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So here you have your activity 1. Then let's say the user navigates to activity 2 which contains fragment A. Now notice the sequence of operations going in the downside. Now the user goes to fragment B from the same activity 2. But here in other words you have gone from fragment A to fragment B right? Now when you press the back button the user expects the screen to go back to fragment A. But what actually happens is the user is taken to activity 1 because the back stack by default tracks changes only across activities. It does not consider intermediate changes within the same activity in the form of fragments which means fragments do not form a part of being added to the back stack by default so we have to customize that behavior so let's see how that can be done now why do we do this that's the first question well as a user you're seeing that some changes are going within the same screen let's say from fragment A you go to fragment B and you press the back button you suddenly are thrown back to activity 1 let's say you have a login at fragment A and you have a successful login at fragment B so from successful login going back all the way outside or uh, your application or to the home screen doesn't make sense for a better user experience and that is why you want to customize the behavior of your back button for fragments. So whenever you're performing a transaction which you guys remember fragments are added by transactions call this method add to back stack for adding this entry to the back stack. In other words you say something like this you have a fragment you get the manager you begin the transaction you add the item and then you say transaction dot add to backstack my screen which means in other words that consider this operation also as part of something that is going to change the backstack so my screen now is added on top of your main activity and then you commit the transaction now it is very important that you perform add to backstack before you commit the transaction which adds this set of operations that we have which is our add operation with the name my screen to our backstack so now when the user presses the back button whatever fragment was added on the screen is undone and then the user is taken back to our main activity. So this is the behavior that you get when you implement the add to backstack method. Now let's talk about multiple operations and what happens with the backstack. For several operations let's consider something like this. You have add A, you say remove B, then you say replace C with D. So you have done three things over here and then when you say transaction dot add to backstack null. Now remember when you say add to backstack it's going to consider all the operations within the same transaction object to form a single entry inside your backstack which means now transaction.commit runs and then now when the user presses the back button all the three operations will be undone at the same time now this would be good scenario for your tablet application development where you probably have say six fragments on your screen three of them have to be dealing with something and you want to undo all three at the same time and that would be the case where you will have several operations running out like this. Now there is one more thing that needs to be considered by default when you do not call add to backstack the fragment is destroyed when the user does, goes presses the back button or something like that but otherwise if you call add to backstack the fragment is stopped and resumed when the user navigates to it and this is also one of the reasons which you, you might want to consider for implementing add to backstack to make your application respond faster to the user especially when you're using fragments out there so next let's talk about some programmatic backstack behavior do you guys believe that you can make a back button in the code which means you can have a layout and you can add a button and can you make it work like the actual software or hardware back button in Android yes you can do that now that can be done with this method called pop backstack when you say pop backstack it does exactly the work of a real software or hardware back button on your Android device which means the topmost transaction is removed and the user is taken to the previous screen. 
that is how it works so let's take an example of how this works so right now let's say screen one two three four is there this means the user is currently looking at screen four when you call pop to backstack the topmost entry is removed the user is now seeing screen three again call pop backstack the user is looking at screen two now now this is one of the options available now there is another option called pop backstack with a string argument where this argument should be supplied at the time of calling at the backstack over here now how, what does that mean again observe here carefully there is four three two one the user is currently looking at four right now when i say pop backstack screen two it's going to remove four and three and keep two on top of the ui which means now the user is directly looking at screen two in place of screen four now there's also another way you can implement this and that would be using a flag calling pop backstack with screen two pop backstack inclusive now this essentially means that also remove screen two and show the previous screen the difference between the second one and the third one is that in the second one when you say pop backstack screen two screen two is kept here for the user to see but in the third one even screen two is removed which means it's inclusive and that is removed right so you see screen one this time so next let's talk about something to observe changes in how the backstack is modified use the on backstack changed listener now this is an interface which is inside fragment manager and this gives you an exact idea of what are the contents inside the backstack on backstack method say change method is called each time the contents of the backstack are changed oh i repeated the point sorry about that so use the backstack entry count to retrieve the number of entries in the backstack now use the get backstack entry at int index to retrieve the backstack entry at a given index now remember when you say backstack entry count let's say there are five entries in your backstack the fourth entry is the topmost entry and the zeroth entry is the earliest screen where the user was present it means if you were in activity one then that would become your zeroth entry then you went to activity two then you went to three then you went to four so four or three would be at the topmost level and that is how things work with the backstack entries so you can use the backstack entry classes get name method to retrieve the name of what entry was is being present at which index now this can be again we'll be seeing this in code so don't worry if you guys think that this is getting a bit ambiguous over here so in the next video i'm going to jump to android studio and i'm going to show you a very friendly app that shows you exactly how backstack works as fragments are concerned so in that app you'll exactly see things happening on the screen with this on backstack change listener in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day wives out